I am sitting with Rima Paramuter. It's great to be here. Thank you very much for coming. You, you got the, the name just right. I, I, it's the only thing I'm nervous about always. Easy peasy. You are the executive director for MEF Global. So uh, what, what, give us a little bit of background. What does that mean? That means that I run an organization with 11 years of heritage. Very exciting. We started out as Mobile Entertainment Forum, really bringing together the mobile and entertainment players looking to create a whole new industry. And uh, in the last year, we've actually repositioned. We're now MEF, the Global Community for Mobile Content and Commerce. So it's a big shift what you guys have done over the. So you were at kind of 11 or 10 years as, as the Mobile Entertainment Forum, and now you're, now you're just MEF. Right. So the, the acronym actually refers to both global content and commerce, and really a broader vision for being inclusive and looking to mobile commerce as a natural evolution of mobile content. We've seen a lot of players get excited about mobile as an opportunity for engaging consumers from brands, retailers, and banks, all the way through to agencies who represent them. So our rebranding essentially is a reflection of the fact that the industry and what we're focused on is a broader kind of playing field. So we're very excited about that. It, it sounds like, it, like you, you're growing with this industry. And, and speaking of that, this is the second year for, for MEF America. It is conference. indeed. Um, uh, what, what's the difference? You were there last year for the first one, yeah, although it was much smaller. But uh, you, what's the difference between what's happened in that one year? So the conference has doubled in size, and that's been very exciting. Uh, we have about 50% representation from North America, 50% from LATAM. Um, the conference is a truly unique gathering that brings together both markets for deal-making, for understanding the dynamics of what's happening in each of these very important and diverse markets. Of course, we talk about Latin America as though it's one continent right. market, but it's Just certainly like the not the States. case. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So here we've been hearing about all the differences across the board. So what's been exciting is uh, to see the evolution of the industry. So mobile content is certainly a very big focus and continues to be at the forefront yeah. of, of what we do. But also mobile commerce is really advancing. So it's pretty exciting to arrive here on Cyber Monday. No kidding. Um, perfect <laughs> kickoff. How could it you was a perfect it? kickoff. So Black Friday, Cyber Monday, yeah. and here we are kicking off the conference uh, and really seeing a very strong take up in the market that's been reflected in our event. So we've learned that um, nearly 600% increase uh, has come through for uh, mobile shopping as part of Cyber Monday, that's which incredible. is a pretty incredible statistic. So that was uh, something that we were very delighted about. It's almost unfathomable, that size of growth. You know, th that's a, uh, that's a, uh, a, a sign of an industry that's in, in explosion mode, isn't it? It is. We define mobile commerce quite broadly from engagement all the way through to Transaction. payment. Transaction, okay. Exactly. Yeah. So if you look at that market, it is very dynamic and growing. So what, what was the difference between the, like the content from last year to this year? Was it, it, you were focused on a different area last year or was it always around the commerce and, and, uh, and it w engagement? It, w it started out also focused on content and commerce. Yep. So I think last year the two big themes were context is king. Mm -hmm. uh, so looking at all the localization elements uh, of what mobile can deliver and we had a keynote from uh, Nokia at that point really speaking to the incredible power of the mobile device. We also had a very big focus on privacy um, which actually has continued to be a core theme this year. Sure. Uh, security is something that also has come through as a very important issue that the industry needs to grapple with. But I, I think the other kind of big phenomenon that's come through very clearly, certainly in the panel that I chaired, is the whole social media aspect. So um, the whole notion of mobile social shopping is something that uh, has clearly uh, been proven, but it also social media, we see it really affecting 
content and the take up of mobile content as well as mobile commerce. So that's been sort of a, a key theme that I've I identified that we uh, are really taking a deep dive into as well. Is that, is that for the United States and Latin America? Are you seeing similarities there or is, is, are, there, are there polarizations around the social side or are they I, I think I, I think it's certainly the case uh, for both. Yeah. Here we also launched uh, a mobile payment matrix mm -hmm. and that's one of the issues that um, needs to be, I think, more clearly understood. I think anytime you need a matrix, it needs to be clearer, that's, right? That's probably very true. Yeah. And that's the whole point of what we're doing is there's a lot of complexity around mobile payments. So together with our members, we've produced already uh, a number of white papers that explain issues like taxation, regulation, privacy. Very important for how mobile payments will be adopted and really trying to demystify this whole area. So we've just I issued the first series uh, and there are future ones coming that are part of our initiative. So because mobile and mobile commerce and mobile transactions and, and, uh, and because you talk about security or, uh, and uh, concern over uh, privacy are so broad, yeah, I mean they're just one piece or one, a bunch of pieces of mobile, do you have to limit your scope as, as MEF uh, or else you're going to get swamped? I think uh, you, you hit the nail on the head. The biggest sort of challenge is figuring out which areas to prioritize. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we're doing a deep dive into. M with mobile commerce, um, the unique aspect of our initiative is that it actually is regionalized for every territory we cover. So North America, there's a big focus on security. Yeah. We work with uh, X9 t to help them develop uh, technical standards yeah. that will actually shape how this area evolves so everyone knows that there's a level playing field. When we did our global consumer survey, we found out that 27% of consumers would purchase more if it were not for mobile security concerns. Mm. So that is clearly an area that needs it's to be impediment. honed. Right. It's an impediment and we need both merchant and consumer confidence for the industry to reach its full potential. When you look globally, and that's, that's what your role is, MEF Global, um, how, is it difficult to balance the different states of mobile in, in the different nations? So when, when you look at um, you know, developing nations and their requirements, are they so drastically different uh, from, from developed nations like the United States and Canada? Where, where you, you, you kind of, it's schizophrenic almost, you're split? That's a really excellent question. So I think that uh, there was a false notion that uh, some of the advanced Western mobile countries will be teaching the, the mobile first <laughs> countries yeah. on uh, how this area will develop. What we're actually seeing is, you know, a lot of the so-called developing markets are the leaders for mobile commerce. There's a lot to learn. We had a, a wonderful closed door session here with mobile carriers from LATAM and North America exchanging lessons, uh, learnings oh, on, on, that would have been on how to bank the unbanked via mobile, yeah. looking at uh, the mobile wallet, looking at prepaid, postpaid markets. So uh, there's a lot uh, that we can learn from one another. Yeah. And I think that the way that we can most advance this is through meaningful local analytics and projects that also fall under uh, a greater global vision, which is to help the industry advance. So MEF is very focused on shaping the industry, connecting the thought leaders, really helping to monetize and take it to the next uh, stage. Rima, thank you so much. That's a great way to end. I really appreciate your time. Thank, thank you, you very much. Pleasure. It's been wonderful. Thank you.